my niche, 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 niche. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Bila B. So, as you know, 2019 is basically over. It is gone. And this video is pretty much a 2019 reveal for me because I remember back at the beginning of the year, December 2018, I wrote down all of my goals that I wanted to accomplish in 2019. And then in February, I moved out of my apartment and moved back home with my parents. And then in May, my parents moved from their old house to this new house. So I haven't even looked or kept track of what I've accomplished, what I haven't accomplished, what I'm on the road to accomplish. So I'm pretty excited to look back in my notebook to see what I wrote down and to just kind of be surprised, see where I'm at in life. So without further ado, let's get this notebook and let's get into it. So... I have my notebook. When you open it up, here we go. 2019 goals. Social media wise, two social media campaigns. <clears throat> Promote buy on Facebook, buy new equipment for YouTube, do a YouTube short video, hashtag my grind Monday, hashtag tumble Tuesday, Gain 250 followers, gain 250 subscribers, and do a feature video with three different people. So, let's get started on the first one. <laughs> two social media campaigns. I have not done two social media campaigns on my personal social media. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm still trying to find my niche. I've kind of sort of have an idea, but with YouTube, if you're a YouTuber, you know, you have to start. And as you be continue to grow, you then find what works for you. So that is what works for me at the moment. So trying to figure that out. Promote and buy and prom promote your posts. After doing a lot of research on that, I heard that when you do that, you're pretty much buying followers. And they're not organic followers and they're just bots. So if you promote your post, yes, it does get you out there and it does get more people to see it. When your followers grow and get up there in numbers, they're nine times out of bots and then you lose them, which I have experienced that in the past from promoting certain posts. So yes, that's a no-no. I've, I've done a lot of research. We're not gonna do that, that's fine. Buy new equipment for YouTube. That I have done. I bought TubeBuddy. It is this app that you put on your computer and it helps you with hashtag searches. It tells you what is searchable on YouTube and how many people are searching it. I bought that and then I also got some lights for my videos to be brighter. So I have bought new equipment for YouTube. So that is definitely a plus. I'm still in the works on doing a YouTube short video that takes a lot of thought, um, a lot of money, and still in the works of that. My Grind Monday got thrown out the window, and Tumble Tuesday, I'm too old to tumble. Just putting it out there. I have not gained 250 followers. I know why. It's because I am still trying to find my niche, and because I haven't specifically found it yet, my followers fluctuate up and down every so often, and I'm not going to as many networking events as I used to, so I do know why that hasn't happened. And then YouTube gained 250 subscribers. I have not gained 250 subscribers, however, I have gained 150 subscribers. So, not exactly at that goal, but I have gained a lot, so I'm very, very excited about that. And the only features that I've pretty much done was with Brandon in the new year, which is nothing wrong with that. I needed two more. You consider my vlogs and my friends and my mom. Maybe that could be a three feature. But yeah, that's pretty much my social media 2019 goals. And last but not least, my money managing 2019 goals and life events. Money managing, pay for a money app. Sit a tree, make $100 a week. Start saving for a townhome, pay off credit card. Life events, visit five townhomes. Photoshoot every one to two months. 
and get a real estate agent. I'm speechless guys because money managing and life events for my goals I've accomplished a lot for paying for a money app I've done that I bought digit I bought that app I pay for it every month it helps me save for any and everything that I want I absolutely love digit I've been using it for quite a while now I've put my friends on it I put some family members on it digit is the way to go especially if you struggle with saving I personally don't struggle with saving but because I have so many things that I want to save for digit it's been been coming through for your girl Sitter tree make $100 a month. Now, being that I live in Villarica and all the sitter tree jobs in Atlanta, that's really hard to do. If I lived in Atlanta, that definitely could have been feasible, but not when I live in Villarica. Start saving for a townhome. With Digit, I have started saving for my townhome. So, yes, that is definitely a goal that I have accomplished. And pay off credit card. I have not paid my credit card off, but I use my credit card for life. Event happens so when I needed to buy a plane ticket and it was on sale and I didn't have the money, I used my credit card. When I had a medical bill due, I used my credit card. So still paying it off. I am just a couple of paychecks left to pay it off. So hopefully, fingers crossed, before that new year hits, your girl will have paid her credit card off and will be using it for what she needs to be using it for. Visit five townhomes. Y'all, let me tell you, I visited a condo, a townhome, another townhome, and I stopped at another one. I visited four. Four condo slash townhomes. That's good. That is amazing. I was one short. So I kind of already have an idea of what I'm looking for moving forward. So that is exciting. A photo shoot one to, uh, one to two months. So I have not done a photo shoot. Uh, I guess I meant a photo shoot every one or two months, which has been feasible. My photographer, shout out to my photographer, Kaylin. He is goat. He is awesome. He has been helping me with my creative visions and my outfits and the places that we shoot at. So I think I've done three with him and I'm content. I'm, I can't wait until we finish making magic. In the new year, I know I have two photo shoots scheduled with him, so I'm very excited about that. So that is that is still a thing. And get a real estate agent. I have a real estate agent. Her name is Nicole, and she's awesome. We've been working really close together. And at the moment, I'm still trying to pay off my car. So until then, Nicole and I have had the conversation where I will hit you up when my car is paid off. But that is pretty much it for my 2019 goals. Wow, I've accomplished way more than I thought I did. And looking back at those goals, it just makes me excited going into the new year. I am ready. I am ready to continue to money manage, to continue doing my life events, finding my niche for social media, and really getting my YouTube channel going, moving forward with some more subscribers and on Instagram some more followers and really trying to get back out there and network so reading those and knowing what I've accomplished I'm so ready to go ahead and set my 2020 goals and I kind of like the idea of not looking at them and revisiting it when the new year comes to a close just to kind of see what I have accomplished so yes I honestly thought in 2019 I was off track especially moving back home with my parents I'm just thinking to myself oh my gosh I'm so nervous look at these goals I don't know what I've accomplished I don't remember what I wrote down and to look at them and know I have accomplished more than I thought it's such a great feeling so 2020 I am coming for you I am growing into my own I'm growing to the woman that I'm destined to be I'm on the path that I'm destined to be, God's going to continue to guide me. Yes, I am ready. 2020, here we come. So with that being said, y'all know what to do. Like, share, comment on this video. Do not forget to subscribe. And as always, have a happy new year and be blessed, productive, positive, and proactive. I will see y'all next year. Bye.